All right, guys, so we are back, um, and this time we're going to be doing making flashcards for your space notes, okay? So, the first thing that we're going to do is draw a staff. Remember, staff has five lines, all right? And we count those lines starting from the bottom. All right, I'm going to go ahead and start making my lines. I'm going to start with the top line. So, boom, this is my line five. And then, what, my line four. Line three here. Okay, line two here. Now line one. Okay, and we got our staff there. All right. And then remember, if you have a blank sheet of paper, boom, you'll be doing the same thing. So, just grab a blank sheet of paper and then try to get those lines. All right. If you're a clarinet player, you want to try to make sure that you have room at the bottom of um, your staff because we're going to be using ledger lines. So make sure that you do that. Line um, three, line two, then line one, okay? So once we finish doing that, yeah, make sure you have uh, space in here because remember, we're going to use legend lines. Once you finish doing that, let's make sure that we draw our clef. And remember, the way that you draw your treble clef, um, you can start from the top, make a six, make sure it curves around that second line, start from the top, make an uppercase D, then turn the uppercase D into a J, and then boom, all right? So that's one way you can make a treble clef, all right? Mine doesn't look awesome, but you get it. As long as we're on the second line, you're fine. You can go back and protect it, pr perfect it. So we should have four of these cards here, all right? Now, let's go ahead. So remember, we're doing spaces now, exciting. So remember, this... Second line is always going to be G. And I want to figure out what this first space of the staff is. So if this is G, I'm going to go down backwards in the alphabet because I'm going down on the staff to figure out what this is. And we know the letter that is behind G in the alphabet or backwards would be F. So I'm going to go ahead and draw a circle or a note rather in between these two lines. And then on the back, I'm going to put F because I know that that is f okay and so we're going to keep on going down here so if if this is g and i know that this space is f that means that this line is e all right but i'm trying to get to a space here so i'm a, so i'm trying to figure out what this space is below this um first line and again so this is g f e so the note below this on this space below the staff is going to be D, all right? G, F, E, this is D, okay? So, that's D. All right, we're getting there. So, next note. Now, our next note, for our next note, I'm going to need a ledger line. So, I'm going to go ahead and draw a ledger line here, all right? Draw a ledger line here, so boom, I got one ledger line there, all right? So, we know that this is G, then we said this was F, we said this was E, and if I had a note in between these two lines, we said it was D, which was our last note, and then we know for my last flash card, if I have a note with one line going through it, that would be C, all right? Right there. So, if I want a note under this um, ledger line, if the note on this line is C, and I'm going down, or backwards in the staff to figure out what this note is, I know that that would be B, all right? B is in boy. So I'm going to go ahead and draw my note here, all right? Let me try to erase this little extra that I had on the inside, but I'm not really able to do that, but you kind of get it. So this is going to be my B. And on the back, I'm going to go ahead and write B as in boy. All right, now, for my very last card, I need another ledger line, all right? Because I had a note right here below this ledger line, which is our B. And so that means I'm going to hit another line note. And we did this. If I put a um, if I put a, a note on this line from last time when we did uh, our flashcards, I know that that was A. So I'm going below, but let's go ahead and start. So remember, if I had something on this line, that would be G. A note on this space, that would be F going backwards in the staff. A note on this line, that would be E. A note in this space, that would be 
D, a note on this line, that'd be C, a note on this space would be B as in boy, then a note on this line going backwards to the staff would be A, and then if I continue to go backwards, if I put a note under this line on this space here, that is going to be G, all right? So I have two ledger lines here. Now this is a space known. That is my low G, all right? So I'm going to put low G. So I know it's low G because remember, we got another G up there, all right? And so that is it, all right? So go ahead and um, study these and make sure that you're ready for your note, note identification challenge.